a semiconductor which is pure and contains no impurity is known as intrinsic semiconductor so here is a typical example of silicon with the four valence electron outside since it's a bond see this silicon this silicon will four electrons one two three and four and the remaining this one is associated with this one and remaining this one associated with this one and here this one with this so this is how and here it is associated with the some other electrons some other silicon atoms so your four electron is shown here and you got some free electrons which is conduction electron and which created a hole so from here one electron gone out so from here one electron gone out so it became a hole so this is called conduction band and this is called balance hole so in an intrinsic semiconductor the number of free electrons and holes are equal semiconductors are pure germanium and silicon in intrinsic semiconductor the number of free electrons n e is equal to the number of holes n h that is n b is equal to n h is equal to n i but n i is called the intrinsic carrier concentration the semiconductor possesses the unique property in which apart from electrons the holes also move suppose there is a hole at site 1 as shown in figure a the movement of hole can be visualized as shown in b here an electron from the covalent bond at site 2 may jump to the vacant site 1 from here to here thus after such a jump the hole at site 2 and site 1 has now an electron therefore apparently the hole has moved from site 1 to site 2 note that here is a site 1 which is moved to site 2 note that the electron originally set free is not involved in this process of hole motion the free electron moves completely and independently as conduction electron and give rise to an electron current ie under an applied electric field remember that the motion of hole is only a convenient way of describing the actual motion of bounded electrons whenever there is an empty bond anywhere in the crystal under the action of an electric field these holes move towards negative potential giving the hole current that is called as ih the total current i is the, the sum of the electric current electron current ie and the hole current ih the process of generation of conduction electron and holes a simultaneous process of recombination occurs in which the electron recombine with the holes you can see the electron here and here is a hole because of the electron's moved out and there is a photon which is giving an energy so the thermal energy is coming here i got my photon which created the electron the electron is moving here and a hole is created at equilibrium the rate of generation is equal to the rate of recombination of charge carriers the recombination occurs due to an electron colliding with a hole 
An intrinsic semiconductor will behave like an insulator at T is equal to 0 Kelvin. It is the thermal energy at high temperatures which excites some electron from balance band to the conduction band. Thermally excited electrons at T greater than 0 Kelvin partially occupy the conduction band. Therefore, the energy band diagram of an intrinsic semiconductor will be depicted as Here. Here some electrons are shown in the conduction band. These have some of the valence band leaving equal number of holes there. Once if it is go here, a hole will be created. So the number of electrons and the number of holes are equal. So the forbidden energy gap is really small but even at very ordinary temperature there are many electrons which processes sufficient energy to cross the forbidden energy gap and enter into the conduction band. Here is a semantic band diagram of an intrinsic semiconductor.